Hey, good day everyone. Uh, I just got out of the camper. We're in another lovely parking lot. Um, we got here to Miles in uh, Montana late last night, so we just stayed at a Walmart parking lot. But when I got up this morning and I looked out my window, I happened to see this neat little tiny house on a trailer. So I can't get in there, and uh, but I can show you through a window. Whoever owns it dropped it off, and uh, they must have went to the store or whatever, but I thought it was kind of worth looking at. It's uh, really well done and really kind of pretty. So what I notice it is, it's, a, um, it's on a 10,000 pound trailer, and it looks to me like it's, um, the, the, built, the house itself is probably seven feet wide and about 20 feet long or something like that. And however tall, really well um, done. It has a, uh, I assume this is an air conditioner and a heater all in one, and big huge power box. And this window I assume is boarded up because they um, are toned and don't want to blow it out. It's, it's brand new on a brand new trailer and everything like that. So we can come around and uh, I'll show you what I just noticed that I found really, you can tell a good carpenter when they cut so fine like this along the wheel well. So obviously somebody does this for a living. It's very well done. And it even smells nice, like nice new cedar. If we come around the back, we can uh, possibly look in the far window over there and uh, you can see what's inside. Has a neat loft up there and behind that door would be the uh, bathroom which looking at it looks like it has a, uh, a shower in it and a sink and a uh, toilet and the reason I know that is I will show you underneath the plumbing underneath kind of shows you what is how it's laid out underneath. I could live in one of these puppies. I guess I live in something smaller already. There's the kitchen. And I'll show you underneath, uh, just to show you how it's constructed underneath. I just find it kind of interesting to do this. Or to check it out. Oh. oh, maybe you can get it. I can get you. Oh, okay. So you can see all the plumbing, and it basically tells you where the, how the bathroom's set up. The toilet, the shower, and the sink. So hopefully you enjoyed the little uh, walk around. Um, I would assume you could have one of these if the price is right. All right, guys. Well, hopefully you enjoyed that as much as I did. Uh, I wouldn't have mind having one of those on the property uh, years ago. And uh, so anyways, like I said, we're here in Miles. We're going to drive around town a little bit, see what's all happening here. We do have to hit back on the road because it is cold. It was cold last night, I want to say in the mid 40s. and. Uh, Luckily, I have my beautiful wife with me to keep me warm. But it dropped down to the 20s, I think. It did? Yes. Well, that's why the heater came on. You yes. just didn't stay hot enough. <laughs> well, that ain't true. You're always We hot. do turn the heater on when it gets that cold. <laughs> so, like I said, we're going to drive around town and uh, check it out. Then we're going to start heading east on 90. So, uh, we'll take you on the road nope. with us. Oh, we're not on 90. No. Nope. We're on another road that starts with 9. <laughs> <laughs> we're on 94. We are heading to North Dakota. Yes, we are. So, we will... See you guys on the road. Because it's just not cold enough here. We want to find colder weather <laughs> and snow. But like we always say, that could change very fast. Yeah, and it does. Yep. All right. The road trip. We'll see you. <laughs> <laughs> always. We'll see you down the road. Well, we are still in Mile City. And I just wanted to tell you guys, we are at Cinex right on the corner. Ooh, go away, B. And they have self-serve air and water. And you can put your own water line on there so you're not sucking out of the black hose. Yep. And they also have over here on the corner, they have a free pump out right here. So you can pump out your waste if you're coming through get fresh water we did fill up a half a tank of gas so if you utilize their free stuff maybe go in even if you're not getting gas maybe purchase just something from them um, anyways we are gonna go get on that highway up there on 94 and head out all right so <laughs> Uh-uh. <laughs>
<laughs> so we came up the hill from the other Cinex, Miles City, Montana. And at this Cinex, you can get propane here. So you can basically stop in Miles City and get uh, fresh water, dump, and get propane all at the Cinex. So I'm going to let Scotty do that and now we'll see you guys on the road in a minute. getting dark it's exactly seven o'clock and we're in North, North Dakota. Dakota we made it and we're going down here to Camel's Hump Campground and it's very very uh, potholy yeah. <laughs> and right now it is 43 degrees outside so I'm gonna be running some heat inside yeah, tonight so we just wanted to uh, Say welcome to North Dakota with us, guys. So yeah, and Montana is absolutely beautiful. Yeah, I was on the way here. I was telling Scotty, Montana is probably one state that I would live in. It's absolutely gorgeous. So, anyways, all right, we'll see you guys at the campsite. Just a minute. To turn right. Turn right. Boy, this is a beautiful place. It is absolutely awesome. Beautiful. some hair since we uh, last saw him. minutes ago before you guys got here. Oh, oh that's awesome. wonderful. Scared him away, but... Yeah, I've been growing, Dawson. Yeah, it's looking good. Looking good. Good to see you guys. Absolutely. <laughs> 